So today I'm going to try to, uh, well, I guess we're going to do more than try. I'm going to grease up bearings and such that are behind this large pulley here. Uh, I'm not sure how many teeth is on this brocket. I see if it's any different than this one I have from my other bike, which I know is a 13 tooth and it's already cleaned. But uh, yeah, I get a little bit of grinding, a little grindy sound, some dirt and stuff in there. It's time to give it a little wash out. I could just use the grease nipple and grease it up, but I'd like to clean it out. Know exactly what size that sprocket is and yeah, maybe even play a little bit with some sprocket sizes if it turns out I have two different sizes. So, obviously my first step is to get rid of this here uh, pedal arm. So, being I haven't done this before, I suspect there's going to be a lot of editing going on. Oh, it's in there good. Not that good though. Knock that out of there. Oh. And take that off. We got that and a spacer. In. And this here is a little dust cap cover. I gotta take a chisel or something like that. I got a feeling this will work. Oh! And I was right this time. And it will be a washer. Oh! Oh, I guess, uh, yeah, like I say, lots of edits. Snap ring first. Different kinds here. Openy, closey. We want the ones that open it. I get right in there. I don't know if I lifted it out of the groove there or not. Alright. One snap ring. One washer. And the final step I've forgotten, obviously, is to get the chain off. Okay, well, I'll start with a little bit of that editing I was talking about and uh, loosen up the back wheel, loosen up that chain. And for now, we'll just turn you off. You don't need to witness all that pain. There we go, I managed to get the sprocket to come off of the pulley. And here we go, a nice messy oily black dirty thing. As well as some nice black dirty hands. Let's get a little clean up going on here so I can zoom you out. So now we have our sprocket here. I'd like to get access to. Alright, hey, I guess it's a learning curve for all of us. Okay, so I've gotten it off, and I'm looking, what I am really interested in is getting in here and cleaning up these little needle bearings here. And inside there, I don't know if I can get a good view. I brought a light out in the shed tonight, so we don't have to work with a flashlight. But there's some needle bearings on either side there. I'm going to flush them out, clean it up, put some fresh grease. And I got a little bit of end play in my pedal axle here, so I'm going to see what that's all about too. But yeah, first step, I'm going to use some brake clean, scrub the back of that up, flush them bearings out, repack them with some nice grease. Take the pedal off, take off your little dust cover, and uh, one snap ring. So pretty simple stuff. There's also a washer back there I'll end up taking off so I can have a look at things. So I've just got me an old ice cream pail. I'm a big fan of the ice cream. So I'll give her a little shot. Turns out I'm out of brake cleaner so I'll use some card cleaner. So I'm gonna have a little look behind this washer and uh, 
We see what's back there. See what's going on with this little touch of end play. Nothing I'm too serious about right now. So we'll just pull the second snap ring off. And this big spacer. I'll give her a little clean up there too. So, all right. Lots of dirt and grime, rubber, powder from all the belts I've been chewing off this summer. I've scrubbed a little scrubbing on my my wheel here. And you can see those needle bearings. One on either side. They're cleaned up. Still a little bit of old grease in there. I'll have to scrape out a bit, but we're getting closer with that anyway. This is mostly a clean up and get the grime out and put it back together. Alright, the shaft is out. Gonna give this a little clean up and a greasing, slap it back in. It after I removed the uh, snap rings and shit you seen earlier, it just slid right out. There's no ball bearings in there, so I didn't lose anything. I could have uh, saved myself that guessing by checking the manual, but you know, a little adventure makes things more fun. It's all pretty basic stuff here. Put a little bottle of grease in there. Put a little blob in on the other side. And I'll grease up the whole shaft here. Even though there's so a crank, small washer. And I did that ass backwards and wiped all the grease off with the washer. Spacer, whatever you want to call that thing. I'm sure its purpose is for spacing. And yeah, we'll just jam it right back on through here. Oh yes, big blob of surplus over here. Probably going over a kill here, and I'm sure I'll need some cleanup when I'm done. Here's my cleaned up uh, pulley. That's where the sprocket's gonna ride, so I'll make sure I get lots of goo on there. I need to get lots, pack those bearings, which means I'm gonna be getting my fingers gooey. Rub that in there real good. I'm actually going to make sure that channel in the middle there that you probably can't get enough detail on to see, but I'm going to make sure that's all greased as well. Pushing and rolling as I do this, trying to get as much in and around everything as I can. This is the larger, uh, the larger sprocket I'm going for. The fatter side is the side that's going to lock against this clamp here. This is the thinner ones is where the chain is actually going to go. So I'll put the thinner one facing in. Now. Go over Gale with some grease again. So yes, yeah, so I'll put the fat teeth toward the pulley. And I'll make sure I'm in bicycle mode. Or V for velo, I guess is what it stands for. And there's a channel in there. I'm gonna make sure it's just full. A little hollow between those two. Bearings. Now I'm at the part where 
I am going to put this big washer back on, follow it up with a snap ring, and the pulley, and then another washer. I believe is how it works, and then a snap ring. So here I go. All right, washer slash spacer. Lots of excess grease. Yeah, we knew that was coming though. Spacer. Shim, whatever. I got all the vocabulary. Now oh, another snap ring. on there. All right, so our next uh, object will be this spacer, or I'm sorry, dust cap. That's a delicate instrument. And oh, I guess I'm uh, being a bit of a dumbass and forgot a pretty important step. Okay, once again, video edit. Okay, pause her up. I'm sure, we'll make things function better. And. Yeah, maybe when I do this the second time, I'll go a little quicker. 